Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long YouTube numbers post 1975 and welcome to a let's take a look at a board game video specifically let's take a look at Bedbugs by Milton Bradley Games five years and up clearly it's a choking hazard two to four players what does it say on the front help 48 creepy crawly bugs are leaping all over the shaking quaking bed quickly use your giant tongs to try and hunt them down and if you get the most you win the game the motorized hopping leaping jumping game According to the instructions, we'll look at the contents of the box in a minute. This is from the mid 90s. Now, I could be wrong. I couldn't find any information for it. Basically, I looked it up on Wikipedia and it wasn't there and gave up. I should have possibly checked YouTube for commercials, you know, old um, vintage commercials, because then I could have possibly put an age on it. But I'm sure I remember this knocking around in the 80s. I honestly um, don't know. But let's crack into it. Now, obviously, when I were a lad and the world was black and white, computer games weren't as readily available uh, for kids as they are now. We're talking late 70s, early 80s. You know, the world was still black and white back then. And sort of computer games like your Pong machines, your handheld grandstand games, um, you know, which are basically either LCD um, or uh, sort of basically colour based, you know, flashing lights and stuff like that. They were very expensive. So these sort of kind of gimmicky board games, tabletop games, they were a massive, massive deal. That's why I like doing these uh, series because this is what we mainly got, like as one of your big Christmas presents. And if you were lucky, one of your birthday presents. I've not seen a, an equivalent of this knocking around, so I don't know if it is classic or was it successful as operation because you can, you can still buy that. Anyway, let's check the contents of the box. Obviously, I forgot before now, and I have to say for a, cha farty noise, for a charity shop, it's, it's bang on, it's complete. I guess they have higher standards, you know, now um, than they did years and years and years ago. So you get instructions pamphlet, um, you get an insert to hold your, your gubbins, you get a bag of uh, bugs, you get your tweezers, of which there are four, so it's a four player game, and you get your bed. Take C batteries, which I can tell you now, I've already put in them. They uh, come in here underneath the pillow. Because I don't know about you, but that's where I store my batteries in real life. Um, so, before we get to the bed, let's have a look at the, uh, the tweezers, the thongs. Call them tweezers on the oversized comedy tweezers, I guess. Uh, and very blunt, I guess, to get, make it somewhat difficult to pick up the bugs. I have to say, by the way, this me being a cynical, old, miserable bastard but i mean i guess they base this um apologies if you can hear my dog barking she barks at everything look a leaf fell goes mental um yeah so they've obviously based it on the phrase at night that kids would say you know or parents would say to their kids which is uh night night don't let the bed bugs bite i wonder if any of these kids actually asked their parents and said mom dad what's that little johnny What's a bed bug? Oh, right. Well, you see, when you go to sleep, um, inside your mattress, there are hundreds of thousands of these tiny, tiny, tiny little insects, um, parasitic, if you will, and they feed on your blood. Anyway, Johnny, there, I'm rubbing his hand. there you go. Go to bed and don't have any bad dreams. Seems a bit kind of, you know, oh, well. Right, so let's have a look at the bugs. Four colours, as you would expect. This has got, I can see why it's five years and up. This has got the bright colours and the smallest. This has got choking hazard written all over this. This has got, I look just like a sweet. Go on, small child. Eat me. I bet I taste delicious. Um, and they got, look, look, they're cute to fight. So, you know, you're not going to have nightmares about these. And obviously, they've got little legs. The bed itself, solid plastic. Oh, he says that and the whole thing falls apart. The bed itself, I should say solid plastic a bit disappointed with this because you got to remember in the 90s at least this probably would have been the best part 20 maybe 25 quid your guy um sleeping that's cardboard i mean i don't know if it can't be plastic because it won't vibrate enough but um that seems incredibly incredibly cheap to me and obviously you got his face of which underneath takes two c batteries which seems which seems a lot of juice 
to vibrate and you've got your power switch there. Ooh, that is loud. Let's us let's sneak. Oh, you can take this off. Let's sneak a peek at what actually powers it. So I'm guessing that it needs a certain amount of grunt to do that. Look at that. I've seen cars with smaller engines than that. That is that is quite impressive. It, and obviously it's got a plastic bit on the end, which I guess is what hit, well it is. I don't know if you, can, you can't really see that, it rides up. So that sank beneath and that's the only part that touches this bit here, which actually has foam on the bottom, which I guess is to, uh, so it basically, so it doesn't rip a hole through the man's chest. But yeah, um, yeah, that's quite grunty for a little power, a powered motor in there. Now I'm, I'm starting to understand why it's possibly battery based and not wind up. But disappointing, I mean this, I, maybe like I said, maybe that has to be cardboard, but this clearly could have been plastic. That is cheap and possibly, possi I know if I was a parent and I looked at this in you know, a Christmas morning, assuming I remembered batteries and my kid was playing with it, I'd be thinking, pay 20 quid for that? It's cardboard. Um, kids obviously don't look at it like that. Uh, yeah, that could have been like, I don't know, moulded hands, plastic moulded hands and a face, a little bit sort of effort, would have, more effort had gone into it would be nice. Maybe the motor itself is rather expensive. We'll have a quick look at the, inst the instructions before I fire it up in the other room because I've got a camcorder set up on a tripod. No expense spared on this channel, eh? Right, instructions, bed bugs, the motorised hopping, leaping, jumping game. In case you doubt me. Right, so, contents. One motorised bed with cardboard cover. Um, one cardboard pillow. Seriously, it's in quotations. Um, 48 bugs and four colours on runners. I'm assuming that's their legs, so again, that must be so it makes it jump or jits around. I honestly have not tried this, so I don't know how, you know, how they actually move. I'm assuming it must make, like, like make them go kind of batshit crazy. It would be a piece of piss, wouldn't it? They're just lethargically limping around um, because they're so full of your blood. Right, yeah, um, four tongs, preparation, batteries, you'll need two LR14, 1.5 volts, yada, yada, yada. Warning, do not switch on when the cardboard cover is removed. That's probably a valid, valid point to the kids. I'm sure they did and touched it anyway. Uh, the diagram, in case you're, you know, your kid's stupid and doesn't know how to put in batteries, but to be fair, that's probably the adult job. Right, um, playing the game. Each player takes one pair of tongs, two, put all the bugs onto the bed, switch on the motor, and then one player calls out a bug colour. All players together then race to capture the bugs of that colour with their tongs. As soon as you catch one of the correct colour, put it aside, away from the bed, and then chase some more. When there are no bugs of the chosen colour left on the bed, the next player to the left of the previous caller quickly announces a new colour, and everyone tries to catch those bugs. Okay, this is rather complicated. Um, I thought you just went for the colour that matched your tongs, but clearly not, because obviously it's point-based. Um, any bugs that accidentally jump out of the bed have escaped and are not counted in the game. Accidentally jumped out of the bed means you possibly should have made the sides of the bed a little bit higher, you cheap bar stewards. Play continues until the last, oh sorry, if you pick a bug of the wrong colour by mistake, you must quickly put it back before continuing to play. Um, all right, or you could just let go when you've accidentally grabbed it and not take it all the way off and drop it. I think they're trying to make this a bit more complicated, actually, than it, it really needs to be. Players continue until the last colour has been called and there are no bugs left on the bed. Players now count up the total number of bugs they have captured. The winner, I mean, this is the 80s and 90s, so obviously you had a winner. Now, everyone wins and you will get a partition award. Participation award, I should say. Uh, the player to, who captures most bugs wins the game. To make bugs jump more or less. Ooh, it's got tweakage. If your bed bugs are not jumping correctly, remove the cardboard cover by placing your fingers under the bed frame and gently popping out the cover. Then holding it printed side up, bend it up slightly at the sides, as in Fig 3, to make the bugs jump more. If you want to make the bugs jump less, bend the cover slightly downwards. That is... That's rubbish. You basically... That is the worst thing you could tell a kid to do. He's just going to rip it in half or absolutely massacre it. Wow. Yeah. That is cheap. There is not a lot of um, sort of um, part, part value, I should say, in this game. Right. Let's jump into the other room and fire up this bad boy. Right. Uh, let's get into this. I've got my uh, bag of bed bugs, or as we previously discussed, parasitic blood feeding little bastards. I've got my comedy oversized tweezers and apologies because one can only assume that this is going to be very loud uh, in a very 
hard, plasticky, rattling kind of way. I will try and give commentary. I, what sort of commentary you can give? Let's put these in there. On a game like this, I do not know. But you're probably not going to hear it. And you probably might want to mute it. Anyway, let's get into this. Now, I would like to say, despite gaming my entire life, which is supposed to improve your hand-to-eye coordination, mine's pretty shit, and I don't have the steadiest of hands. So you have fun with all those bastards feeding on your blood. Let's get into it. Sunk your battleship. Um, that was ever so slightly easier than I thought it would be. Let's try another one. Right, off you go. You'd be dead by now, mate. Oh. sure how entertaining that would be for kids. Well, as you can see, uh, I was not prepared for just how uh, vicious and vigorous uh, it was at vibrating, which is exactly what she said. Um, yeah, I was not prepared for that. I mean, it made a bloody racket. Let's be honest, it made an absolute bloody racket. And I was playing that on a carpet. Can you imagine the noise it would make if you played on a hardwood floor? Possibly the damage and scratches it would do, or, and also the noise it would make if you played it on a tabletop. I got a fiver that says that probably drove parents absolutely nuts and they immediately regretted buying it for its kids. Um, it takes a little bit of getting used to. Uh, I find the best way to do I'm giving you tips on competitive bed bug in, uh, pushing your tweezers around, uh, you know, guiding it into the, um, your, your colour bug. That one was a little bit temperamental, as you can see. If you push quite hard on the cardboard, um, it would stop the, the thing from shaking. I'm guessing that's because it's the best part of 30 years old and not an inherent design fault. Half the time, the bugs just pissed off by their own accord. They're like, screw this, I'm out of here. This bad, this bloke tastes funny. Um, but you've got to remember as well, um, it wasn't particularly difficult, but yeah, you've got to remember as well, it's going to be really, 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 really hectic with um, three people playing it at once. But you know what? I can see for kids that this would be, you know, actually really, really quite entertaining. Personally, now, you know when they say, be careful what you want, uh, you wish for, or never meet your heroes, uh, I don't think even Ickle Dave would have been particularly blown away or maintained much interest, interest in that for any particular period of time, which I'm assuming is probably why you can no longer buy this or they don't make it anymore. Although that could be me being entirely wrong, as I've done no homework whatsoever. To be fair, I did look up bed bugs on Wikipedia and I just got a horrible amount of information and really nasty pictures of bed bugs. Look them up. They're horrible, and they're in your bed at any one time. Um, so, yeah, the, the fact that I mean, certain stuff like Operation uh, is timeless, and hence the fact that, you know, it's still around today, and there are sort of variants of it, different licenses of it, you know, like the, the Simpsons one with Homer. But, yeah, safe to say, I guess this wasn't massively successful, or it's not aged, uh, or stood the test of time, basically, because um, 
yeah, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a modern version, variant, or equivalent of it. But anyway, uh, as always, if you had this as a kid, I would love to know what you thought of it back then. If you have this now, because you found it and you're like me and you like buying these things from charity shops, I'd love to know what you think of it now. But more so, if you can provide me any information on this, because while I'm not actually that blown away by it, uh, as I was by Operation, and Mr. Pop, Mr. Pop is still my favorite one of these. Um, yeah, I, I'm very, very curious to find any information on it as I personally couldn't when I looked. Anyway, don't know why I did that. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later.